Well, greetings YouTube. As I've gotten many requests to do a Kenmore Progressive Canister, I have one here. It's about six, seven years old, which is about the life expectancy at best of this product. Um, this product's highly recommended in Consumer Reports. This version happens to be made by Panasonic. Um, I want to show you a few reasons why I'm actually not going to do a tune-up on this as much as I'd like to do one for you but how they come in almost every time I see them is like this now you can hear that motor whine it's still going down let's turn it on you have almost no power um, and this is a design that's basically they changed the colors in the marketing scheme but they really haven't changed the internal since the early 90s but it's a design that dates back to the late 70s early 80s um, so first of all there's no casters um, so it's got these two big wheels which I've mentioned I dislike um, you don't have crush proof hosing you have this heavy wire reinforced hose I mean this thing is heavy this will really make you hate a canister vacuum now when we open up inside, we're going to see a couple of things. We're going to see a bag, uh, this paper, they do make a cloth bag, but there is no gasket um, on the bag. Instead the gasket is right here and it just doesn't do much. Um, then you can see in this one, and this hasn't been used without a bag, this, this is how they all come in when I see them. I have never not seen one doesn't come in with large debris and dust everywhere um, and that's just strictly because it's a paper bag without a gasket um, in this case the customer didn't put the pre-motor filter in but kind of attributed to its motor dying but even if you do everything right now on the back side of this um, let's see if I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to see this but the machine is not a sealed HEPA filter system. Uh, you can see, I'm really trying to angle this right, I hope you guys can see that there's a hole right there behind the wheel. And on the other side, it has more holes behind the wheel. And then the machine uh, is vented behind the wheels. Now, we're going to put, I am going to have to calibrate this afterwards, but we're going to put this to the exhaust. Uh, let's do it where you guys can see it. All right. vacuum I've tested on camera for you guys. Um, the other thing is HEPA filter is really awkward to get to on this. Um, as you can see the user was unable to find it and that HEPA filter has just gone to shit and you can see the motor carbons and the debris that's moved past the motor. So this is completely toast and gone. And this is partially user neglect but a lot of this has to do with the design. Um, and a lot of these things can happen just because of the design. Um, and it's it's heavy, it's awkward, and not to mention there's a list of problems with this recycled Whirlpool, uh, loosely designed Whirlpool powerhead. Um, so yeah, that's why we won't be fixing one of these probably anytime soon on camera. I just don't see these come in in good enough condition uh, to do a full repair on them. Um, so as always, please like, subscribe, comment below how much that you love Consumer Reports and that this is the best vacuum ever. Um, anyways.